a ship you have to, to know if it's possible that you will first get a uh, uh, hundred. Of course, of course, yes. Uh, what's, what's your name? Yes. Sorry, you know, sorry, you know that much. <laughs> C'est magnifique. I mean, oh. too magnifique. Oh. Wow. 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 Bye, guys. And around. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Rick. Uh, the first time I saw you was in the Backpack Diaries, and I loved you in it. It was amazing. Thank you. And, Thank you so much. Uh, I was happy to see you again in the Flash, and I was I also loved you in the Flash. And uh, my question is, which, which of those two roles, roles was your favorite to do? Um, I, okay, my favorite, um, I don't know, you know, they were both so cool to do. Um, that Dr. Dr. Wes Maxfield was so so evil and horrible that um, I had so much fun doing that because I really wanted to make it real as well. I didn't want him to just be like, ha, 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 ha. You know, he was more just like seemingly lovely and then a complete psychopath. And, um, and Eddie, I think, was, um, as well, they wanted, to, they wanted to make him really nice. At first, I was playing Eddie in the auditions. Like, he was a little bit of an asshole. And they were like, no, 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 he needs to be really nice. He needs to be really nice. And so, it was really their choice initially. And then I, like, really, like, caught on to that. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to make him so nice. But everyone's going to like him in the end. And so that ended up happening. So I'm sorry, I'm not answering your question at all. But um, I really feel like I love them both equally, like children. Um, they're both they're both really cool roles that I um, yeah that I that, that I hold really close to my heart. And so um, I would love them both to like exist in the same world. That would be pretty cool if they met each other. They would they would probably be friends <laughs> in a really fucked up way. <laughs> um, I was sad to see you die in two roles. You died in Firefly Diaries and you died on the Flash. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? You obviously haven't seen Quantico yet. <laughs> 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 um, I know you're sad. Thank you for being sad. Amazing actor. Thank you so much. I, I, I won't die in the next film or TV series. I do, okay? I'll make a promise. Alright, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I keep upsetting. It would be really funny though if I did die in the next TV series. Like, Come on, now you're just now you're just messing with us. I don't know why I'm American today, but I am. I seem to be very American. Hi, sorry. Sorry, so repeat that. If I, if I could be a famous person, oh, a famous villain, I'm sorry. If I could be a famous villain, um, I would probably have to say um, Cobalt Blue. Yeah, do you guys know who he is? Um, he's one of, he, he, was the, he was the Flash's um, um, twin brother that got estranged from him. Um, at birth, and then um, became his arch nemesis, and he throws these massive blue flames, and he's got this like ravaging like blonde hair, and he's sort of like he's really evil, but he doesn't look that evil, but he's he's like deadly. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs>